What's up, everybody? This is Afro Joe coming to you. And uh, I heard some shit about a certain fat ass motherfucking drug addict that hates other minorities. If they, I, I guess his motto is if you ain't white, you ain't right. Well, I heard a little something about Mr. Fat Ass Rush Limbaugh. And it got me fucking thinking about this shit about, pe about people doing radio shows on the series network. The private little satellite shit where the FCC don't touch. And it kind of got me fucked up on, on what I heard about this fat piece of shit saying. Calling a woman, Miss Flute, a slut, a prostitute, and saying if she did a video, he would watch it up online. Now come on, y'all. It, look, it's like it's pissing me off that these motherfuckers are getting away with shit. You might be wondering, like, oh, why is Jamie Foxx in the picture? I'll tell you why he's in the picture later in this video. But I think it's bullshit on how certain people can get away, get away, get away saying shit on series. Like you take Don Iverson, like yeah, he's in the picture. He's like Don Iverson. He called a basketball team nappy-headed hoes. Nappy-headed hoes. The radio station fired him. I thought that radio station gets my respect. And turn and he turns around. Don Emerson turns around, sues the sues the radio station for firing him. And the judge ruled in his favor. Now, now the judge that ruled in his favor, he might be the stupidest motherfucker I ever heard of. How are you gonna rule in, rule in some dumbass like Don Emerson's favor? Why are you gonna rule in his favor? And he called a bunch of women nappy-headed hoes. He might have been calling your daughter a nappy-headed hoe. He might be calling your wife a nappy-headed hoe. He might be calling your grandchild a nappy-headed hoe. Or your niece a nappy-headed hoe. Or your cousin a nappy-headed hoe. How do you rule in somebody's favor that does shows on series that calls people nappy-headed hoes? It makes no fucking sense. I think the radio station did a hell of a fine job by firing them. Second thing is, you know, uh, Patricia... Heaton, Heaton, you know, from Monday Family, and she was on Everybody Loves Raymond. I think she's a beautiful one, a beautiful woman, but she's stupid as hell. I'm gonna call her stupid because she's agreeing with Rush Limbaugh. Now, I'm gonna tell you this: like I always say in my videos, watch what you say and do. But I'm just gonna say this: if you on TV, radio, and the internet, it applies to all three. Watch what you say and do on these things man because one fuck up can make you lose everything you got can make you make you lose a lot now I'll tell you this I'll tell you this now this is where I'm gonna talk about Jamie Foxx now this is what I call fucked up it happened, it happened to him and it happened to Isaiah Washington I'm gonna tell you why about Isaiah Washington. Now, Jamie Foxx does a show on Series 2. And he had a caller. Call in. Go look up the video on YouTube. He had, Go look it up about uh, Jamie Foxx and Miley Cyrus. You'll hear that a caller called his radio. His radio show. His radio show. And he said, did you hear about Miley Cyrus and Radiohead? He said, no. The caller explained what happened between Miley Cyrus and Radiohead. Jamie Foxx was giving his, giving his opinion on the situation. When he said what he said, he was just joking around. Now, you heard all these people laughing. <laughs> but Billy Ray got mad got mad and went on the Bonnie Hunt I think that's her name Bonnie Hunt show when she had a show and sit out there and say oh I think it was kind of uncalled for that he talks about my daughter like that and what if I said that shit to your daughter he's like what if I said that about your daughter Billy Ray you gotta remember 
your daughter's on TV, his daughter's not. Your daughter is on tour, his daughter is not. There's a difference. Your daughter's in the limelight, Jamie Foxx's daughter is not. So never compare your dumbass children to Jamie Foxx's child. Because he's not going to raise his child, not going to put his child in the spotlight because you're a broke ass. That's kind of fucked up. And, he, and they made this man go on Jay Leno on national TV and to apologize to Miley Cyrus. Went on national TV and had to apologize to Miley Cyrus and Billy Ray. Uh, what happened? A few, mo few months later, what happened? Billy Ray comes out the woodwork saying, I blame Hannah Montana for fucking up my family. Kind of fucked up, ain't it? Your daughter turned into a little fucking whore. Smoking weed, smoking weed, thinking she all black and shit, man. Come on now, you you did that. It wasn't nobody else but Billy Ray's fault for letting his daughter do that and let her be in a fucking human target. Cause you know, the entertainment business, everybody's a human target in the entertainment business. No matter what, even if you put your child into the entertainment business, your child is a fucking human target. You need to stop sitting there blaming everybody for your shit, Billy Ray. And it's fucked up. And here's another thing. Here's another thing. Isaiah Washington. <laughs> he was on Grey's Anatomy. He was walk sitting there on set. And he was standing beside one of the co-workers. One of his co-workers. <laughs> and he seen this guy walks by. And he's sitting there. It's like, man. He leans over to the co-worker and says, I think he's gay. He said think. He didn't say he know. There's a difference between thinking and knowing. Thinking is like you pondering, trying to figure out is he or in questioning a situation. Knowing is having the info on this person. Isaiah Washington told the co worker, I think he's gay, and look what happened. He lost his job. Nobody wanted to pick him up because he said he think he's gay because what he said, thinking thinking he is gay see what I'm saying it's fucked up on how certain people that gets on the entertainment business end up losing their job certain people in the entertainment business end up getting dropped end up getting dropped they can't find work you humiliating them and all this shit and the others like Rush Limbaugh get to keep their job how come Don Emerson and Rush Limbaugh can keep their jobs but Jamie Foxx almost lost his how come Isaiah Washington lost his? And you got this bitch. This, this, this I'm calling her bitch because she was following. She was agreeing with Rush Limbaugh, Patricia Heaters or whatever haters. I'm gonna call her Patricia Hater. She's fine, but she's dumb as a box of rocks or bag of hammers. If you are, if you look, it's like this, man. If you're a c c celebrity. And you kind of agree with Rush Limbaugh, Don Emerson, on Bill O'Reilly. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody that you agree with these people. Because one thing is, you say that to a friend that's in the entertainment business too, they can go back and tell the newspaper what you said. And fuck your shit up. You keep your opinions to yourself. <laughs> but I'm saying it like this though. He shouldn't call this woman, this fluke woman, a prostitute, a whore, or that she needs to make a sex video and put it up on the internet so he can watch it and shit like that because it was unnecessary for him to say all that. They said he lost a lot of sponsors. No, he needs to lose more than the sponsor. He needs to lose his motherfucking job. He needs to sit there and lose his job. If I was the radio station, I say fuck you. I'm gonna cut my losses. You fire. Get the fuck out. I don't need you. And if I was, second thing is, if I was the the the, 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 the radio station that Don Amos worked at, I would say you know what, we had our little run, but I'm think I'm gonna fire you. Just lay you off. How how can you fire somebody? How can you sue somebody that fired that fired you? See, I don't get it. Why would you sue a radio station that heard heard you say calling 
a basketball team, nappy headed hoes. How do you sit there and sue that? How can you sue that? You made the mistake, but you sitting up here throwing the station for it. It makes no sense that these people can get away with so much. And I know some of y'all gonna sit up there and say, well, you trying to make this into a racist thing. Well, if you look at it, it is kind of a racist thing. It is. It is kind of a racist thing. Now, you look at Howard Stern. Look how many people quit his show. The, the, there was a guy named Jackie, the comedian, the, the funny guy. He lived right, right in the 90s. Then that was Fred. I think he left right after her. Then Artie Lane got tired of Stern's bullshit. Then Robin. How many people is going to have to quit? So, how many people got to quit the Howard Stern show for Howard Stern to realize, man, that he needs to clean his fucking act up? Second thing is, why would anybody want to hire him to be on public television? Besides the E-Network. He don't like the FCC, and the FCC don't like Howard Stern. Now, I don't see why did Howard Stern agree to do, well, America's Got Talent, and he hates the FCC. I don't know if, uh, what was it, uh, ABC, I don't know, who is it, CBS or NBC that owns America's Got Talent? I hope they got good lawyers, because one fuck up from Howard Stern, man, your shit gonna be fucked up. The FCC's gonna shut your shit down. And Bill O'Reilly, you probably want to, well, well, what about Bill O'Reilly? You got a picture of him up. Well, you ain't saying shit about him. Bill O'Reilly, this is what I got to say about him. He's a racist bastard. He's a racist bastard. That's all I know. He's just a piece of shit. The reason why I say that is because he bitched about Ludacris. He bitched about Ludacris. Oh, Ludacris, he talks about bitches and whores and shit in this video. It's called music, motherfucker. Tom music. I know you listen to a lot of rocking, like country ass, with that good old horses and ponies and like a rhinestone cowboy. That's how it is, man. In the entertainment business, the music is gonna be different. But he sits there and bitches about ludicrous saying bitches and hoes. But he sits there and loves Ozzy Osbourne, the man that bit the head off a bat and worships Satan. How the fuck? He's a hypocrite. He's a fucking hypocrite. How do you say Ludacris is a bad influence on kids, but you love some Ozzy Osbourne? I think Ozzy is cool. I ain't talking down to Ozzy, but it's the same shit, but different page. But it's the same shit, but different books. See what I'm saying? Ludacris. <coughs> Ludacris and Ozzy. Sorry about the coughing. Ludacris and Ozzy. They might not be in the same kind of music category, but it's kind of the same shit no matter what. One book, like Ozzy is one book, Ludacris is the other book. Ozzy, in that book of Ozzy, it shows he worships Satan. In the book of Ludacris, he called women bitches and whores. Neither one of the books are good for the kids. But how can you sit up there and say, I don't think that Ludacris should be supporting, uh, should be the face of Pepsi. But I think uh, Ozzy Osbourne should be the face of Pepsi. You're a hypocrite. How can you, how can you sit up there and hate on one person and agree with another person? If he said fuck bitches and hoes and the other guy said kill bitches and hoes, then you're a hypocrite on that shit. There's a difference. I'm telling you, man, people today in these damn entertainment businesses fucking a lot of people over. I would have never thought in my life that <laughs> so many dumbass people would sit up there and do the dumbest shit and they can get away with it. Now, is it is going to get to a point that Rush Lambert, Diane Iverson, and Bill O'Reilly is going to get to the point they're going to sit up there and kill somebody and they're going to walk free and all the evidence show that they did it? Cause right now it's starting to look like that. They, that the, ju I just don't get these people. These people sit up here and bitch and complain about certain other people, but they're hypocrites about it. I'm gonna tell you, man. If I ran that radio station, man, the first thing I would have said, rush, pack your shit, get the fuck out. We don't need that kind of shit in my damn 
much uh, my damn radio station. Because I'm not going to sit up in. I wouldn't take your shit. Even though your shit is on. Even though your shit is on series, I wouldn't take that shit. Because one thing is, you got to think about it. Technology today, people can record whatever the fuck you say, edit it, and fix it where you said, I'm, you going to do this to one person, you going to do that to another person. Somebody can edit, not to say they edit that shit of a uh, person by saying he called the woman a slut and a whore, a prostitute, saying she need to do this and that, and put it, make a sex tape and shit. I'm just saying he needs to watch what he say because he can piss off the wrong person and they can record his voice and shit, record his voice, edit it and all this shit and da 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 and put it where he caught somebody house threatening to blow him up. And then y'all sitting up there, oh, he didn't mean it, mean it my ass. Like a kid can't walk into a bit a kid can't walk into a school and say, I'ma shoot you without going to jail. They can like there I mean I mean I've been I've been in school and I got in trouble for that shit. Teacher fuck pissed me off and I told him stop touching me. I said if you don't, I'm beat your ass up. I got arrested for it. I guess I you see what I'm saying? Just few words got me locked up. And these motherfuckers can get away with it. Oh, that's because they're rich and famous. I don't give a damn if they poor and shitty. It does The law should not change for these rich ass motherfuckers in the entertainment business. The law should be the same as them. If you don't put your neck on these fucking celebrities, then you just a piece of shit just because they got money. I know there's people that can. I know there's people making death threats to Rush Limbaugh, Darren Imus, and Bill O'Reilly. A lot of death threats, and y'all ain't doing nothing. I bet the, even the damn radio station is catching them damn death threats. Oh, that forgot. Oh, Rush Limbaugh is a money maker. Bullshit. You can find you another money maker. You don't need Rush Limbaugh fucking you up and making you lose money. It shouldn't be like it. It shouldn't be about Rush Limbaugh making you money. He already lost a lot of sponsors, so you really ain't getting much out of it. His uh, what is his viewings went down 32 percent, no 33 percent over the last year. And since he said this, I think it's gonna go down to another 33 percent or 42 percent. I'm telling you, man, they allow so many people to get away with so much shit. Why do you think Leslie Lohan didn't spend, didn't spend a year, didn't spend some years in prison? Why do you think uh, Paris Hilton had a short time in prison? Little Kim, man. Because they got money. Or something. It's funny how T.I. got a year and a day in a motherfucking penitentiary. No, but it's 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 just fucked up, man. It's just publicity, man. That these and people are supporting it. Like, if I get somebody to say they support Bill O'Reilly or Rush, Rush Limbaugh or Don Emerson, you is just as stupid as a motherfucker. I bet the KKK's got a picture of Don Emerson, Bill O'Reilly, and Rush Limbaugh on their wall. He, they are like the new Hitler. I'm for real. They are like the new Hitler of today's society. Like I said, if you ain't white, then you ain't right. That's all it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe, a.k.a. This has been Afro Joe DeWiki. If you like what I got to say, leave a comment or a video response. If you don't, kiss my ass and burn in hell. People, subscribe to my channel. After, uh, subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Junior 2 and CeeLo Junior 3. Subscribe to my, I mean, follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe DeWookie. Subscribe to Mother Wookie and help her out, man. Show us some love. Show us some love. Like I said, Don Emerson, Bill O'Reilly, and Rush Lemon need to burn in hell for all I care. They're the poster child of racism. Peace and the body hair grease.